right, so I thought I'd give you a little update of my galley. I got a really big renovation on it, so let's check it out. All right, here is my new galley area. All right, so for starters, you're probably going to say the same thing that I said. Wow, that is bright, <laughs> and that is on me. I painted those colors. Uh, I realize it's a little bright, but help, uh, wait till you just kind of hear me out here before you, uh, you start criticizing me in the comments. All right. So the blue paint started out from just painting one section, which was this. This was going to be the only thing that was going to be done. And I was going to paint that all blue because blue is my favorite color. And I thought it'd be nice and just subtle. Then the rest of it got built out. And when I went to the store to look at paint, I thought, hmm, what would be a cool contrast? Well, I got this orange on my car and on my trailer, so I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool to just keep the color scheme going, and so I did, and then when I actually put it in, I was like, wow, <laughs> this is bright, but it is what it is. It's colorful. It's something different, so, you know, whatever. It's just paint. I can always paint over it, but the cool thing here is what has been done, so for starters, nice big area to... Uh, make meals at now before I had a big area but it was really kind of going towards the back it was a little harder to actually get to things this was all taken up by plastic storage so literally all these things you see here were in a, just a big plastic bin all kind of thrown together no organization so I'm gonna walk you through orga all the organization that I have here um, first off before I go any further I want to tell you who did this for me and his name is Ray Hill and you can find him at ray hill studios he's on instagram please reach out to him an amazing amazing carpenter he uh, lives in the southern california area just outside of joshua tree so if you are ever in the area and you're needing some carpentry work please reach out to him absolutely astonishing work he does and he's very very familiar with nomads um, he has helped a couple people with airstreams and rvs and vans and when I left, he was helping a lady build out her kitchen cabinets. Um, so really, really great stuff. So um, his link is, oh, I'm sorry, by, by the way, his, um, his link to his Instagram is in the description below. So please check him out. Okay, so let me show you what he did for me. So again, I just had big plastic bins back here, and that's literally where I kept everything. But now everything is actually in little compartments here, with little slide outs, right? And the first thing is over here, we have kind of three slide outs. And the first one over here is all my silverware. So knives, forks, you know, silverware. Um, in the middle is kind of like, I guess if you want to call it a junk drawer, <laughs> kind of. Uh, big measuring cup, uh, dish uh, brush, uh, some koozies, my little coffee thing that I make coffee with. And then this is kind of like my favorite. I love being able to just get to all my spices very easily before my spices are just kind of like all over the place. So I got all my spices like here. And then back here, I know the sun here, maybe that'll be a little easier. The sun's not so bad. Back here is pots and pans. So I mostly just cook on skillets. I have a big 12 inch skillet, and I think this is a 10 inch skillet, and I use that 10 inch like all the time. It's perfect for everything I do. Um, and then I have like an extra propane stove, uh, extra propane bottle back here, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. I really up my propane uh, uh, usage here in a minute. Uh, this came from Amazon and this is a little all-in-one camp set and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this thing I'll put the link in the description below where I found it it's only 30 bucks I gotta tell you first I hated it I thought it was so dumb um, basically what it is is again it's an all-in-one camp set it came with a little frying pan a big bowl uh, came with a kettle and a couple little small bowls and I think it even came with some some silverware all right the frying pan sucked. It it I ended up tossing it. It it got things cooked uh, stuck on the bottom of it. it. It burnt out. It was terrible. I ended up tossing it. The bowls were also super terrible. Uh, the t the bowls were super small. You could get maybe a couple bites of cereal out of them. There was not much, so I tossed those as well. And the silverware was okay. I didn't really need it. I actually prefer like real silverware, so uh, I just tossed those pretty much as well. The two things that I actually use the most out of this, um, and really the only two things I use out of it, is it's a, got a really nice big bowl for cooking soups, or I've done a couple like stews, uh, I've done rice in it a lot, uh, so that's been really handy. 
And then the other thing is the kettle. I use the kettle daily to make my coffee. Sometimes I make some tea at night. Um, so that's also been pretty good. So for 30 bucks, I guess those two things alone um, are fine. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So moving on. So there's, that's that area back here. All right, this area right here has got the best organization really. Um, so we got three sections over here. This is kind of like, I have some saran wrap and Reynolds wrap and um, aluminum foil. That kind of stuff over here. All my big utensils right here. So this is perfect for spatulas and for tongs for the grill. Uh, I have a big cutting knife back here. Uh, and then I have my barbecue lighter, a couple plates. And then this is now where I keep all really my goods for cooking. A um, couple other spices, uh, coffee, stuff like that. This flies piss me off. Uh, I always wipe down everything on my countertop when I get done cooking so i always keep a kind of like a bottle of 409 back here just to clean it all up and make it look good and i don't have residue of stuff back here all right this is really where i got the biggest upgrades though so before i was using these green one pound uh propane so uh canisters to cook with and they're fine um i have a little two burner uh propane stove i can use that on the side it worked there's nothing wrong with them the problem here is in california is that these little guys were running me about eight to nine dollar eight or nine dollars a piece now in florida or probably the rest of the country i'm picking those up at a walmart for about three to four dollars for one and then you, they usually would cut you a deal for a little over seven dollars for two so i'm only well, i'm paying more for one than i can get the price for two in most places that wasn't going to work out and i've been in california for a little while now so i definitely need to upgrade that so ray also hooked me up with this nice five pound propane bottle that he wasn't using um and it's perfect because we actually he built me a little area right here it's gonna slide out so that i can go fill it up real easily it's always connected all i have to do is just run the hose to the side of the stove you'll see that in a minute and turn it on and good to go and this obviously will last me a whole hell of a lot longer than those little green ones so this is kind of perfect and then my favorite thing uh that we have back here is now this area right here is this nice big table but this actually is my stove so the stove goes underneath here and that's where i actually cook on and then the the hose line will run right here to the side of the just let it hang there uh runs to the side of the stove so it's really perfect for me. If you saw my setup before, it basically was a two burner stove just like this. And it was a little table that I just pulled out. And then I used PVC poles to actually brace it on the, on the ground. And the problem is that when you do dispersed camping, the ground is often not leveled. I mean, I'm standing on a small hill right here. And then it goes down a little bit. Then it goes up a little again. Maybe hard to see on camera. But that wasn't working. Those poles were always kind of like at an angle. So the table would sometimes be slanted. It would kind of be up a little bit. It was hard to really use it. So this is way better. Um, I can even just sometimes when it's really been windy or something at night, I just keep this in like this and cook on it in that way. But when I open it up, this also gives me another good prep area to put some things while I'm cooking. So huge, huge upgrade to my galley area. I thought I'd run that through. Again, please reach out to my friend Ray, uh, amazing carpenter. He's in the South uh, California area outside of Joshua Tree again, and um, just really, really amazing stuff. So huge props to him, and thanks for escaping normal life with me.